England and we're here today to witness the launch of the Eco-Morian trial um, which we're hoping will protect the sensitive sea grass beds here in Torbay and um, they're really sensitive to um, damage by anchoring so we're hoping that the Eco-Morian trial will offer a positive alternative to help reduce the damage that might be caused by anchoring on the beds. Real partnership project and that's really important nowadays to be able to bring lots of people together for that single point of making a difference. And this project really is going to make a difference. It's one of those uh, projects that not only supports the environment, but it helps the economy and it helps the, the social side of things. It's going to support tourism, it's going to help people enjoy the natural environment in a safe and secure way, and it's not going to be damaging in the environment. It really is a win-win project. My involvement with the project is that I am doing my research project and dissertation on it. Um, so the mooring trial itself is going to be quite sort of crucial to my social surveys. So I'm looking at boat user responses to having the mooring in place because it's a bit different. It's an eco mooring. It's interesting to see if boat users will use it, why they'll use it, and if not, why. Purely because we want to make this a success and see if other trials can be sort of brought out throughout Tor Bay where other seagrass beds might be. So we just kind of, my questions relate to traditional moorings to find out um, what their confidence is in using traditional moorings in relation to how they might feel about eco moorings because there's lots of questions about liability, insurance, um, confidence, then there's sort of the freedom of using an anchor and anchoring wherever you might want to. And, Especially Fishcombe Cove, as you've seen, it's beautiful and it's quite nice to just set it and drop anchor. So I want to find out if we can change that behaviour and if we can, which way round do we have to go? What's going to really make people change? I'm going to be using data collected by the, sea, the Community Seagrass Initiative. So what they do is they have divers go out and take um, transect surveys of the seagrass and they look at biodiversity. But what they also do is their divers will photograph rhizome damage. Um, the rhizome, I'm not sure if you're aware, is actually part of the roots of the seagrass itself and um, they make like a colony, so bringing up the rhizome can be really damaging to the seagrass itself. So with the photographs that are taken by the divers, the volunteers, they'll be stitched together and we'll actually look at whether damage has decreased from having the mooring in place compared to previous years when the surveys have been done.